Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs, and I'm excited to show you my new products just releasing now. I have four individual patterns and a brand new Notion to share with you. First up is our brand new Notion, the g Easy Ruler Stickers in the Fruity Fiesta colorway. The top selling ruler stickers are now available in a second colorway called Fruity Fiesta. There are three sticker sheets in the pack in purple, yellow, and red, or as I like to call the colors for more fun, Grape Ape, Lemon Drop, and Strawberry Daiquiri, all named after favorite cocktails. There are 192 stickers in each pack, just like the original. The stickers are shaped like an arrow, so you mark your cutting lines on your rulers accurately and point the arrows very specifically at points you are lining up within a block or on a ruler. The stickers peel off easily and can be repositioned and reused multiple times, whether on rulers, cutting mats, or even paper. They will not leave any residue on your rulers, no matter how long you leave them on. They are great to use with astrology rulers to mark the lines you are lining up with, and also to mark which slits to cut through when making multiples of the same cuts. They really help with accuracy and to eliminate cutting mistakes. For squaring up with astrology rulers, I like to outline the square size with one color arrow, then use another color for the cutting slits, so the extra colors are really going to help. Let's take a look at the new patterns. First up is Elvira. This quilt is made from fat quarters and offers four different sizes. I recommend using the astrology XL ruler, although instructions include using regular rulers. The pattern features the use of the 60 degree line in cutting the blocks and cutting parallelograms. If using the XL ruler, I also recommend using my point trimmers, specifically the 60 degree one to cut off all the dog ears so that your units will fit together perfectly. Elvira was originally done as a quarantine quilt along, so there are videos available on my YouTube channel where I take you through the steps of making the quilt so you can have extra support in making it. It is a quick to quilt to make and looks good in so many colorways. I made two versions of the quilt, one using Halloween fabrics, which I thought went really well with the name of the pattern. The other version I did myself was using the Just Red fabric line from Moda with a couple of extras thrown in for fun, but it really shows off how great this quilt can be in a really controlled colorway. And here for fun are some quilts that folks made during the quarantine quilt along for Elvira as a little extra color or fabric combo inspiration. The second pattern is called Hope and is available in four sizes and I recommend using either the Stropology XL or the Stropology Squared Ruler. Hope is a part of my Stropology Mixer series of patterns where I use different kinds of pre-cuts within one pattern. In this case, it uses 10 inch squares and two and a half inch strips. I also give you yardage requirements for using fat quarters. As an option for those that like more control and less scrappiness, you could use a single accent fabric instead of various two and a half inch strips for that center of the blocks. Hope has multiple layout options with five described in the pattern, but multiple other possibilities and combinations to come up with on your own. Hope was also done as a quilt along fundraising event in early May, so we have lots of great versions out there. The pattern has proven to be a favorite, just like Elvira, with the multiple options of layouts and color combinations, so many have already started their second and third quilts. Just like Elvira, there are videos from our quilt along found on the YouTube channel where I demonstrate the techniques using different rulers. I made a few different versions of Hope because you just can't stop at one. The third new pattern is also in the Stropology Mixer series and is called Taylor. It uses 10 inch squares and two and a half and one and a half inch strips. Of course, I give you options for using fat quarters as well in the fabric requirements for the five different size options. There's a reason for the name Taylor as the final step in making the quilt, deciding on the layout, lets you tailor it to your own tastes. You make two different blocks and in the instructions, I have you arrange it in a uniform layout like shown here. 
Many will stick with that, but then the instructions tell you to just start turning the blocks and playing with it until you have an abstract layout that looks pleasing to you. As long as you arrange the blocks correctly in the beginning, no matter which way you turn them, your seams will always nest. The fourth pattern is a 10 inch square pattern called Venus. It is based on an asymmetrical block that forms a V, which looks hard to achieve, but is not hard at all using the Strabology rulers. I recommend the squared ruler or the XL. However, the pattern offers instructions on using regular rulers as well. The pattern comes in five sizes and has multiple layouts. One of the key ingredients for success making this quilt are the g Easy ruler stickers when you're squaring up the blocks. Here is a little demonstration on how the blocks come together. You can find all four patterns in both paper versions and a PDF download, as well as the new ruler stickers in the Fruity Fiesta colorway on GEQuiltDesigns.com and at your local quilt shop.